All right, cheesers, it is the end of the road. We're in the last week <clears throat> of the of the year here. Also, Merry Christmas. Yeah, you can see the uh, <laughs> the bottom right there. That's that's when I'm recording this. Um, might be recording a few of these. So, hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas weekend, Christmas Eve weekend, um, and New Year's cheese coming up here soon too as well. Um, but yeah, this is the last week. This is it for the year. Pretty crazy year for us in 2022. And we just finished going through the Grand Finals videos. So we did the 12 total. We did the six races for Firestone Firehawk. We did the six races for Reach Throwback. And now it's time to do the recap and properly uh, send off both series that we did in the fall. Um, definitely proud of what we did on the year in general, but with these fall series, um, you know, a little bit experimental uh, with the Firestone Firehawk slash Hog <laughs> one. And then obviously just like full throwback uh, with the Reach one, which I've been wanting to do for a while. Like I said, I've been talking about the Reach throwback since like um, since like April, and now it's like literally Christmas, and here we are finishing it up. Um, so yeah, so basically uh, to close out the year, the 31st I'm gonna be doing uh, a stream. I'll try to mention this in every video. 31st I'm gonna be doing a stream um, where we're gonna be uh, premiering the last track countdown video and that last track countdown video is going to be it's going to be more than just a track countdown all right i don't want to like give it all away but it's going to be it's going to be more than just a track countdown so um definitely recommend uh if you're if you're not doing anything at that time on new year's eve definitely come hang out uh for the premiere action um if not then look forward to it on new year's day or whenever you can watch it because it's going to be it's a pretty massive project, but it's going to be really cool, and that's all I want to say about it. Um, but leading up to that, I do plan on continuing the, the video um, streak that we've been on um, until that. That'll be that'll be the last video. That'll be the video that uh, caps off the streak, and then, you know, we'll have that goal um, that I had going into the fall. We'll have that achieved with uh, with that video. Um, so that's the idea. So yeah, we'll have some, some videos coming out every day from... From here on Christmas, uh, we uploaded the Barvo track countdown today. We'll have some other update video stuff capping off the year. And then it'll be that last track countdown on New Year's Eve. All right, but uh, so now that that stage is set, let's get into the recap here. So again, you can see the results. Um, starting off with the schedule doc this time. Usually we end with the schedule doc, but starting off with it because, again, this is the end. <laughs> no more races to go. Um, we're at the end of the road for the reach throwback, so I figured we'd start off with this and just take a look at the schedule um, as a whole and see how the season went. And it was definitely a pretty wild start to the season um, with Turkey and Roman there in the beginning uh, winning. All right, sorry about that, Cheezers. Uh, nature calls. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. So Turkey won the Daytona race, the big Daytona race. So kicked off the season with that. Roman taking Arena GP. And then we went into a bit of a pattern where um, with wins, it would vary but Luke would take a pair of overalls, and then somebody else would win one, and then a pair, and then somebody else would win one. So Luke takes two, with three of the four races in those following couple weeks, and then Slaunch had his best week of the season, which was the fourth week, where he swept, took Charlotte and Ladder Goat, swept the night there, took the overall, of course. Um, and then those following weeks, Detail, and Luke split the wins, but Luke took the overalls for both of those. And then we had the weird week where Cat <laughs> won a moto, Cat won a moto, and uh, the most popular driver, by the way, Jake Cat, sorry, um, won a moto and nuked, took the overall without winning a race. So Detail actually did that in the first week as well. So two, it was so odd. The one, the overalls that Luke didn't win, the first three were Detail and nuked with a winless overall, and then Slaunch with a sweep. So that's really weird. <laughs> like, that's just, that's just odd. Um, but anyways, so then Luke responded with the sweep at Green Valley. And then Roman took a race, but Luke took the overall in the following week. And then the final week, the pattern continued, but with a slight caveat, detail takes... Um, it was a different person winning the next week, as it has been throughout the whole season. But this time, it was detail repeating and taking a win on the moto. Uh, a moto win on the night this time as well. Um, unlike that uh, that first one. So, so yeah. Detail started off the reach throwback with an overall win. Ended it off with one as well. Luke taking a lot in the middle. Slaunch and Nuke taking overalls there as well. Cat taking a moto win on the season. Slaunch taking two. Detail taking four. Um, Roman taking three, especially heating up in the last couple weeks. 
um, Turkey taken one as well. <clears throat> so then we go to the Grand Finals, uh, which is what we just covered, and what the main part of this recap is. So, um, the Grand Finals. So, uh, Luke and Detail back and forth with the wins throughout the entire thing until the very last race where Sol actually clutched up and was the one to take the other win. So Luke taking three wins in the Grand Finals, Detail taking two, Sol taking one. Sully with a lot of podiums, nuked a couple podiums, Roman a couple podiums, um, Hunter with a podium in there as well. Detail with a podium besides his two wins. And Luke with another extra podium besides his three wins as well. Um, so yeah, it was uh, Grand Finals, like very close at the start. Um, Luke had to lead off the first race, Detail took it on that second one. But then uh, Detail had the really unfortunate Orange Show race, and Luke, of course, won that race, so that swung it back in his favor a lot and made the lead very big again, but then Laguna Seca, Detail regained there, got some points back, um, but then Blackwater, of course, Luke struck back, got some more points, and then Boulder Bay, it was basically between Luke and Sully, actually, um, the Orange Show race hurt Detail so bad that he could still uh, take second from Sully, but if, if somebody wanted to take the championship from Luke, it'd have to be Sully, so it was basically between them for Boulder Bay, even though it was already, it wasn't too close, but um, it would have been between them, but at Boulder Bay, it was just too big of a hill to climb, Sully would have had to have won, Luke would have had to have finished like, uh, like ninth or something, like it would have had to have been a crazy occurrence, um, technically possible, technically possible, but would it would have had to have been a pretty crazy race for that to, uh, to switch up in the final one, um, but in the end, Luke was able to get just a podium, um, which was enough. And, of course, like, Sol and Hunter finishing in front helped out there, too. Um, but, yeah, so that was the that was the Grand Finals. Um, so that was our Reach throwback uh, recap. Luke taking the regular season Grand Finals champ and taking the, the Oval and the SX division detail actually clutched up uh, the GP division. So he gets the, the Hamilton honors. <laughs> Luke got the Petty Cup and the Tomac Trophy. I had fun, fun with those, fun with those division names there. Um, so that's how, that's how that went. All right, so let's take a look at the results quick, and then we'll get back to... I'll show the points to end off with as well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to scroll through here quick, um, and like quick recaps of the races. So yeah, Watkins Glen, close battle between Luke and Nuke to the entire race until Nuke went for a, a rogue <laughs> Hail Mary move at the last lap, cost him quite a few positions. It ended up being Luke, Roman, Detail, Sully, and then Nuke. That ended up being the top five for Watkins Glen. Then we went into Phoenix, which is a pretty wild race, arguably... In my opinion, probably the craziest race um, of the Grand Finals. Detail ended up dominating this one. This was this was easily his best reach race. Not just Grand Finals, but just on the season. This was for sure his best uh, reach throwback race. Just absolutely ran away with this one. Nuke held on to second. Um, Sully took third. Then Luke. Then Roman. <clears throat> Top five. And then Orange Show, which was an absolute cheese fest. Luke ended up coming out on top of the cheese fest. Sol took second. Sully third. Uh, Real Deal, 4th, and then Turkey, 5th. So quite a big switch up, top 5, Orange Show. And then Laguna Seca, where Detail had another really good race. Not as dominant as, I would say, of a, a, a Phoenix, but still a solid race. Um, bounced back with the rough Orange Show finish. Bounced back here, took the win for Laguna Seca. Sully had a good drive up to 2nd. Um, Nuked had a great drive up to 3rd as well. And Luke with a solid drive up to 4th. And then uh, Camby holding on for that top 5. And then we had Blackwater, which is like a low-key, pretty decent race as well, actually. There's actually, most of these races in the Grand Finals were not that bad. There was actually pretty solid. Um, so yeah, Blackwater, not as exciting as Phoenix, as I, I would say, but it was still pretty good. Like, this was still a pretty solid race. Luke ended up winning this one out in the end, although it was a pretty competitive battle with Roman. They went back and forth for a bit. Uh, Sully had a good drive up to third, had a really clutch last lap pass to take that podium spot detail. Um, ends up finishing in fourth and nuked in fifth. She had a pretty good comeback. Um, rough start for him on that one. So he had a pretty good comeback to take that fifth place spot. And then we went to Boulder Bay. Um, yeah, everybody was tired. <laughs> everybody was tired and uh, was ready for this grand finals to end, which usually is how, that's how grand finals are supposed to be, uh, to be honest. Like composure is supposed to be a factor in these. And it definitely was. Boulder Bay, you could tell everybody was like, all right, this is the last race, man. I'm getting through it. <laughs> I'm getting through it. Um, but in the end, Seoul... Ended up bouncing back for the rest of his Grand Finals. Took a great win here at Boulder Bay. Hunter actually had a solid race here too, taking second place. And Luke holding on for a podium, which is good enough to hold on for the championship there. Um, Camby taking another top five, taking fourth place. Sully taking fifth here. Oh, I guess we'll make that green, but you can take a look at um, all the rest of these final points. I'll show it in the point standings here in a moment too. 
and the uh, plus minus, but we'll see all that when we look at the point sheets. So, um, well, yeah, let's let's just go right to the grand finals. So here's the grand finals, uh, final standings. I can make this a little here for the video, perhaps. There you go. That might help you guys out a little bit. Oh yeah, much better. Um, okay, so uh, Luke Sully detail that ended up being the top three. So Luke Sully detail ended up being the top three. Um, Sully with a really good drive just couldn't get the moto wins, but you know equaled Luke on the podiums in the top fives. The difference, the big difference here was the moto wins for Luke. Obviously, it's going to help out with a few extra points there. Um, and then detail that orange show, or just the oval races in general, were just too rough for him in the grand finals. Um, his grand finals oval races needed to be a little bit better. And if they were, if he could have gotten even the bottom of a top five, even like a fifth and a fifth on those oval races, that would have given him second place and would have gotten him pretty close to competing for the the championship as well. So yeah, that was the that was the problem for him. He did a he did a good job in the Supercross um, and the uh, the GP. He was competitive in those, and as strong as he needed to be in those, I believe him and Luke tied um, in points uh, for the SX races. If you like combine them both, I believe they ended up with a tie. And then GP, uh, Detail actually would have been the one to make the biggest gains in the GP races. So a tie in SX and, and making gains in the GP, like that's what he needed to do um, for him to have a chance at winning this. The oval races just did not go well enough. Um, you got to have... That's, that's the tough part about these grand finals. You got to be strong on all the track types, and it's really, really hard to do. Um, and unfortunately, the ovals just weren't working for him in the grand finals. Still a solid performance, still taking podium, and still pretty far ahead of the pack in that regard. Um, but yeah, definitely could have been better, and I'm sure he knows that. And is probably a little frustrated with that, but um, still a pretty good result overall. Because that was the story of the regular season, too, was the ovals for him. So I don't think he was too surprised um, at how it played out. And then for Nuked in fourth place, um, yeah, just a couple races didn't go his way. He had some, he had some solid performances and should have gotten an extra second place. Again, he kind of threw away the one on Watkins Glen to go for the win, um, which in retrospect wasn't a bad move, you know, like he could have used those points. So in retrospect, you gotta, I think you kind of have to respect the move. Um, but that being said, I mean, it could have been a much better grand finals for him, but I mean, he was in the top three competition, you know, the entire season. So fourth ain't too bad. Uh, Roman in fifth, Honestly, the same story as Detail. Uh, Roman just wasn't as strong as Detail in the SX and the GP, although he was strong in those. He just wasn't as strong as him. But it was a similar story. Roman lost a lot of his points in the oval races. If he improved his oval races, he could have been in the top three conversation. Um, real deal, the pay driver um, with the one top five, but he was just like middle pack and he finishes middle pack like six. That's probably around where he was finishing most of the night. Um, so yeah, just... Uh, Reach is not his preferred series. Honestly, I don't think he's that frustrated with this result. I honestly think he's pretty happy with it. Slaunch, I feel bad for Slaunch not picking up a top five on the night. That was kind of surprising looking back on it, but he must have been finishing in that sixth, seventh place spot a lot, considering he, you know, still finished seventh in points and was still ahead of these people. Soul had a win. These multiple podiums, Hunter had a podium, top fives. So the fact that Slaunch finished ahead of these guys, um, you know, he must have been finishing in that sixth, seventh slot a lot. Can be a couple good top fives disconnected of a race once he disconnected from the one race that kind of chalked it the dc was just kind of it for camby um soul really good performance in the ovals uh opposite of detail and roman really good per uh, performance in the ovals it was the other track types that let him down but his oval performances were really good in fact he actually had the best scorecard on the night on the ovals the best scorecard on the night for ovals he combined the two oval races was actually soul so that's a definitely a w for him to take away from this um hunter really good uh, really good result at Boulder Bay. That last race was fantastic. The rest, not so much. Still good enough to take a couple spots on Turkey and Opix, who, um, tied at the bottom here. Uh, Turkey with the one top fives to get in the edge there, but, um, yeah, not the grand finals that Turkey or Opix were hoping for, for sure. That's the recap of that. And I'll get, I'll show the final regular season, uh, standings one more time as well to close this out with. Um, you know, they have these drivers at the end here that, you know, made their few starts, and then we have the drivers that had... Uh, the full starts that were competing. <clears throat> Luke Detail and Nuked, uh, pretty clear top three um, throughout the entire season. Although Roman did give Nuked a run for his money at the end. Roman had a really strong last couple weeks, um, picking up, you know, a couple moto wins, winning the last two Supercross races and putting in some strong runs. And again, just the ovals, it just wasn't good enough on the ovals. But Roman did put in a really good end of the season. He gave Nuked a run for his money, but Nuked was able to hold on in the end. 
Luke is just too far ahead of uh, Detail for this to be a close championship fight, and Detail was too far ahead of Nuked and Roman for it to be a close second uh, place fight. So that's just kind of how it went for the top through top two. Luke had a decent advantage on Detail. Detail had a decent advantage on the next closest two, and then these guys had a decent advantage on like the rest of the field. So that's kind of how it went. Um, and then Soul Slaunch Turkey feel bad for Slaunch here. He missed that first race of the last night, and Slaunch wouldn't have been able to catch up to Nuked and Roman, but he would have held on to this fifth place, surely, with that extra start. Um, like, 100% would have been guaranteed he would have held on to it. So that's unfortunate. Slaunch probably should have gotten this fifth place spot, so that, that's unfortunate. Um, but still a decent season out of him overall, taking an overall. He had that one really good night and had some good finishes, some bad finishes up and down for the rest of the season, but I'm sure he's still pretty happy about that one night where he had that sweep and just a really strong performance um, for him. Turkey, only one win, but hey, he got the Daytona win. That's pretty cool. So you got to take that if you're Turkey. I'm sure he's pretty happy with that. And also, uh, Turkey was very strong in the ovals, actually. Turkey was, the I would say, the second best performer on the ovals uh, for the regular season. Um, he just didn't make as many of the races as he needed to. For him to be, yeah, he didn't make enough races. He missed one right here. If he had made that extra one, very likely that he would have finished ahead of Detail and Soul. Um, oh, so you got to give credit to Slaunch then. My bad. Slaunch actually would have been the second best. So got to give him the shout out there. Probably not what he, honestly, Slaunch and Turkey being the two, three in ovals, probably not what they expected <laughs> for them to struggle in like the other series, but be top two in ovals. Yeah, that's probably, or top three. That's probably not what they expected. So that's kind of funny um, looking at that. Yeah, so Soul Slaunch Turkey ended up really close. Um, Opix a little bit further back from them, but he had a decent gap on Hunter and Vulcan. Then Hunter and Vulcan had a decent gap on each other here at the bottom. And then again, you have all these other drivers that didn't make the max starts. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I have to say. So yeah, reach throwback season. Um, glad that we finally got to run it. And it was definitely cheesy. Um, it was cool to it was cool to run. I, I'm glad that we got to do this because of the decade gap. Because of the fact that we started you know, in, like, the summer, and ended, actually, in, like, the fall of 2012 with our Reach main series. Um, so, like, it's cool that we kind of have that bookend, um, you know, full circle thing going here where it, 10 years later we get this Reach throwback that started at, like, the end of summer and ended in the fall again, um, which is pretty cool. So I'm glad that we got to run the Reach throwback, and I'm glad that we got to do it at this particular time. It's really cool how it lines up for our overall history. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. And it was also just cool to race it now. It's so different now, um, because obviously just a different band of drivers, just an absolutely, besides myself and Blake, actually. Let me check here. Oh, maybe Turkey. I think Turkey might have made some of those OG reach races as well. Actually, I'd probably say he would. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did. So besides me, Turkey, and Blake, we're literally the only three OGs that were in that first reach season that raced in this one. So yeah, just different for many reasons. A new game, we're racing on MCC instead of Reach, which is a little weird, technically kind of different. Um, it's It's been 10 years, we're all so much older. And again, for the people, for the OGs, for the most people, it's just a new group. Um, and it also just racing on Reach now is just so different, you know? Um, people racing on PC with mouse and keyboard. Um, and just like higher frame rates on both platforms. You gotta remember Reach was, 30 FPS. All the Halos were 30 FPS back in the day. Um, 360 and original Xbox era. So that, I honestly think that's the biggest factor to it being different. That's my opinion. There are other factors too. People getting better and technology getting better. Like those are obviously factors. Um, but uh, in my opinion, the biggest factor is the technology. Like the, the frame rate difference. Racing on 30 FPS versus 60 is, or higher is so different. Um, and, uh, I mean, you could tell playing Halo, right? The jump from 30 FPS to 60 FPS from 360 to Xbox One with the Halo games. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell just from playing multiplayer. It's just completely different. It's the same for racing. Um, yeah, racing and reach back in the day was so much different. But I'm glad we got to run this. Hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Shout out to everybody for participating in this. I'm really happy that so many people um, showed up for it. Because, again, really special to me with that 10-year gap to, you know, close the book. Started with Reach end off this decade era with reach i think that's really cool um and uh and yeah glad we got to do it um sad that it's over but glad that it happened all right uh so hope you guys enjoyed that and tomorrow we'll see you guys in the uh firestone firehawk recap see you there